Are you serious? Are you serious? The night skies have been lit up, folks. What you're looking at right there is a diagram of 50 fireballs that broke through the Earth's atmosphere last night alone. 50. All right. And at spaceweather.com, they got a great article on this. I'll put the link in the description. But every night, a network of NASA's all-sky cameras scan the skies above the United States for meteorite fireballs. Automated software maintained by NASA's Meteor Environmental Office calculates their orbits, the velocity, the penetration depth, and the, in the Earth's atmosphere, and many other characteristics. Daily results are presented right there on spaceweather.com. And as you can see, last night, 50, 50 fireballs. Uh, an incredible display of uh, fireballs, pieces of meteors breaking through the Earth's atmosphere is extraordinary last night. And it wasn't the only thing going on last night. I mean, we're also dealing with incredible auroras. Now, I will show you a whole lot more about this, the auroras, everything and walk you through it. They were spectacular last night, literally spectacular. The, uh, uh, what, uh, up, uh, in the skies of Scandinavia, the auroras were so incredible that uh, their scientists are stunned and sky watchers were amazed. But this isn't a good thing. What it means is the earth, the radiation levels, that we're experiencing right now are extremely high, okay? And uh, we're feeling it from many, a lot, of, a lot of people have seen incredible auroras the last couple of weeks ever since the second wave of energy arrived. And it's even the colors have turned. They're not just green, they're also pink and other colors, which means you even have higher levels of radiation inundating the earth. So. All of this is important, it's beautiful, but at the same time, extremely important because the earth is going through a transformation, folks. It's, it's certainly shaking in the heavens and everything is shaking loose. So it's not just the earth that's having earthquakes, 42 earthquakes in the last 24 hours, which is a pretty significant, I mean, we've seen more before, but I'm just saying that was a pretty significant night, including that. 6.9, it was a 7.2, they downsized it to 6.9, that earthquake uh, over there in Fiji and all of those aftershocks. But then at the same time that the, uh, that the earth was shaking, so is the heavens with the five waves of energy. And the same time that's happening, you have all these, because of that shaking, there's a lot of reasons, meteors have increased exponentially penetrating through the Earth's atmosphere, as you're looking at that diagram right there, of 50. As the Earth is right there in the center, that's the Earth. And all of these lines are, are different meteors, fireballs, that come flying through. They didn't make deep impacts. They, they darted in and out of our atmosphere. Sometimes they would last longer than other times. And uh, actually, BP Earthwatch has been covering that through using the uh, meters that, cr that uh, record the sound when they come into the atmosphere, which is quite extraordinary uh, report to, to watch. And you can do it even live at his website. But all of this means that the earth is shaken. And it's not just the earth and the heavens, but the sun. You see, up in the sun, we've got a situation. We've got a gaping hole in the sun's atmosphere. And the solar winds are roaring at 498,000 kilometers per second, releasing incredible uh, CMEs and ultraviolet rays and solar winds that are also that are earth facing, by the way, and that's penetrated. That's coming up on the earth simultaneously. Now, there's a scripture in the Bible. Jesus said, "There shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars, and the stress of nations with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring, and men's hearts would fail them for fear." For looking after those things that are coming up on the earth, for the powers of heaven shall be shaken. Okay? Then shall they see the Son of Man coming in a cloud 
with power and great glory. And when these things begin to come to pass, he said, look up, lift up your head, for your redemption draweth nigh. In other words, the coming of Jesus Christ. Now, but he did talk about the heavens would be shaken. Now, the Apostle Paul also gave us a clue in the 12th chapter of Hebrews. He talks about, wherefore, see, and we are also compassed about with such a great a cloud of witnesses. Let us lay aside every weight in the sin which so easily besets us, and let us run this race with patience that is set, the race that's set before us. We're looking, why? Why should we run this with patience? Because we're looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. Okay, now, but in the, later on in that chapter, in verse 26, there's a significant uh, verse that the Apostle Paul wrote. It's Hebrews 12, 26. Whose voice then shook the earth, talking about God. Whose voice shook the earth, but now he hath promised, saying, Yet once more I shake not the earth only, but also heaven. And so Paul confirming what Jesus said would happen in the last days, not only would the earth be shaken and quaken, but so would the heavens. And we're, Planet X, Nibiru, uh, you know, NASA calls it planet number nine. Gilbertzard calls it planet 7X. Uh, some of the uh, uh, historically have called it planet X. Even NASA once called it Planet X. Uh, something, a binary system, something shaking the heavens. God uses whatever he wants to use to shake the heavens. And certainly we're, we've entered into a galactical plane. There's more meteorites in the sky than we've ever seen before. Uh, the heavens are shaking. The radiation is baking us. And uh, the earth is quaking. The sinkholes are opening. Uh, we're living, folks, in the, in the end times. And... Uh, Every day and every week and every month and every year, we have accelerated exponentially now to the soon return of Jesus Christ. You want to get your life right with God. We are certainly running out of time. We're going to talk about this today in our live broadcast. Starts at 12 noon Eastern. Give you a full coverage of it and a lot of wonderful, beautiful pictures, actually, of some of the auroras taking place last night. Are you serious? Are you serious? Something biblical is going on with the signs of the second coming of Christ. I'll be back in just a little bit.